All right. So why don't you tell us what brought you into the art world? Into the art world? Well, when I was a boy, I used to see real shit art, you know? Real uh, uninspired, like Picasso and uh, Van Gogh and Dali. And I thought, well, this is shit, isn't it? So I decided I was going to do something better, you know, that might... I'm not going to say it's going to change the world, but, I mean, that's kind of what's happened, you know? Um, I didn't get into it for money or women, um, which is good because I have neither of those things. And you've only been in the industry for how long? I've been in the industry since I was born. I mean, I came out of my mum just saying, like, here I am, and... It took me a while to learn, you know, how to walk and stuff. Those were like the main obstacles that prevented me from getting into the art world right away, you know. Uh, but I would have been doing street art straight away from birth if I, you know, I had the ability to uh, climb and walk and uh, use language. What would be the best use of such an immense space? And then I thought like, you know, glump. So, like, if I put my name 400,000 times on a wall, would it not be 400,000 times more great? And uh, I think the results speak for themselves. I was, you know, going down Miami where that wall is, and I saw that you had taken credit for almost every single thing on every block, on every wall, on every block in that whole city, would you say that you're maybe embellishing your work a little bit, taking credit for other people's work? Do you think it's unrealistic that I've done 80 to 90 percent of the street art in Miami? I mean, to me that, that claim doesn't seem ridiculous, but if you find it hard to believe, I mean, I guess my question to you would be why? I'm a busy boy, you know? I'm out there every night. I can't stay at home and watch telly and, you know, do whatever it is everyone else is doing. I'm out there every night, you know. And it's not just outside Miami. I mean, go in any, like, any bathroom, washroom in Miami, go to the clubs, the bars, go to the public library, go to the zoo, you know, go to, uh, go to truck stops. Go take a wee, you're gonna see my work in there. You know, it's not all about me, you know. One day there will be an artist almost as as good as I am and and uh, nearly as prolific as me. Probably not as prolific, but it's not out of the realm of possibility, you know. I'm a dreamer, I think it totally could happen. Will it happen anytime soon? No, of course not. I mean, I, I was born with it, you know. I'm 29 years old. I've been doing it as a as my main profession for close to three months now. So in three months, you've managed to tag 90% of Miami. Is that what you're trying to get across? Yes, in three months, I've managed to tag... I mean, look, there was art there before, but I just go over it. Because, like, my stuff is better. I'm doing a public service, right? I mean, ask people in Miami, go to Miami tomorrow, walk around, how happy do people look down there? They look pretty happy. You know why? Because my shit's on every wall. Tire les ficelles, ton policinelle de temps